right guys, this is gonna be real short and sweet because this is so easy to do. But I grabbed a Sonic menu from 1980. Look at those prices if only we were still there. They are so cheap. So I'm gonna show you, let's say I bought a Sonic burger that was $1.45 number one. And then I also bought milk to go with my burger. Ooh, that sounds gross, but anyway, we'll do that. So if I wanted to know how much this would cost me, I need to add decimals. So to add these two decimals, I would just line them up, make sure the decimals lined up, add zeros anywhere I need them. So like, I'm gonna add a zero here. So then, just like regular adding, five plus zero is five, four plus five is nine. Don't forget to drop that decimal, that's the only difference. And one plus zero is one. So that meal would cost me a dollar ninety-five. Okay, so all you gotta do is take the two numbers, line up this decimal, drop this decimal, and add zeros where you need it and you should be okay. So let's do some subtraction. So let's say I wanted to buy a Super Sonic with cheese and I wanna see how much more that is than a hot fresh coffee and the coffee is 35 cents. So once again, I need to add my zero anywhere there's not zeros. I'm gonna take those two and subtract them. Super easy, five minus five is zero, four minus three is one, drop my decimal, and two minus zero is two. So that's a difference of $2.10. Okay, let me show you the only time it might get a little tricky, and there's not any prices on this board to lend itself to this, so I'm just gonna pull some numbers out of the air. Let's say I had $5.00 minus two dimes or two tenths. So let's say I did five minus two tenths. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bigger number on top because I'm subtracting. So I have five minus two. No, you cannot do it that way, okay? You gotta remember, this is like five holes, five dollars, and this is two tenths, which is like two dimes. Now, what did I say earlier? You've got to put the zeros to help you out, okay? So it would look like this. Zero minus zero, super easy. Zero minus two, we need to fix that. So we have 10 minus two is eight. Remember, drop your decimal and four minus zero. So it'd be a difference of four and 20 hundredths. Okay, let's say what if you had, let's do the same thing, but I'm just gonna use a different here, I'm gonna do zero and nine hundredths. So nine hundredths. So same thing, you gotta set it up. Remember to add the extra zeros, that's five holes. This is not nine holes, so that nine has to go back here in the hundredths. And it might help you to put it in a house to make sure you have everything where it goes, okay? Line them up and then just subtract it as usual. So just be careful, so here's my pointers, make sure that you put them in the right spot. I would use this house to help me. Make sure you drop the decimal and then make sure you have all the numbers in the right spot and you add those zeros. Notice this five holes did not have zeros. I had to add those zeros to help me because you can't just act like there's nothing in there and they go, oh, that's nine. That does not work. You have to add the zeros to help you, okay? So those are my pointers. Line them up in a house, add zeros where you need to, and make sure you have everything in the right place and drop that decimal. See, told you it's gonna be short.